Hey guys, Frank Rich here from AstheticMuscle.com. In this video today, we're going to go over three movements that you can do to build a bigger chest using resistance bands. Now, before we get into the movements and kind of go over the application of how to throw those into your training, let's talk a little bit about resistance bands and why we use them within our training. If you think about um, any movement that we do, whether it's with free weights, uh, dumbbells, machines, or even cables, all of those movements or exercises have what's called a resistance profile, meaning that it's gonna be hard at some points throughout the movement and then easier in other points. Now, a lot of times, um, these movements, resistance profiles, does not match our body's natural strength curve. So what that means is where we are usually strongest, the movement's gonna be easier, and where we are weakest, the movement is more, most times gonna be uh, harder. Um, let's use the, the dumbbell press, for example. Imagine if I'm laying on the, on the bench and I'm holding a dumbbell here at the top. Now remember, I'm laying down and the dumbbell is directly over me. That force of that dumbbell is applying no tension to the muscle that I'm using. If you think about it, I could probably stay here all day if my joints were able to, to withhold the weight. You think a lot of times this is where people will pause within a set um, basically what they're doing is they're resting, they're gathering themselves. The minute I start to take that dumbbell out or further away from my chest, the weight gets harder. Now, if I take a band, and as you can imagine, as the band gets, as the band gets longer, it's gonna get harder. So if I have a band attached behind me, as I extend it up, where I'm, where I'm stronger um, and, the, and the dumbbell is lighter, the band is going to add force to that. So what that's doing is that's manipulating that strength curve, matching my body's natural, I'm sorry, manipulating the resistance profile, matching my body's natural strength curve. And we're going to go over three different movements today that you guys can do um, to, build a ch to build a bigger chest, all with the same concept in mind. What we're trying to do is manipulate that uh, resistance profile and make those movements harder where we're gonna be stronger. Let's take a, let's take a head over and, uh, and, and get started with the first one. All right, guys. Uh, first movement we're gonna talk about today is the uh, reverse banded incline press. A um, few things. You don't need to do this movement with an incline bench. That's just what I have set up here today. You can do it in a flat bench. You can do it in a decline bench. The key thing we wanna focus on is how the actual setup of the bands is being used. You can use a traditional squat rack. Um, you can use a Smith machine if that's all that your gym has. But what we're accomplishing here is we have the bands attached from something above. Now, as we talked about earlier, as the band gets longer, it applies greater tension. So in this application, as the, as the, as the band in the bar gets closer to our chest, it's actually gonna add resistance. So if we think about um, doing a typical bench press with a bar, um, I'm sure we've all seen somebody, or maybe we've been guilty of it ourselves, of doing half reps at the top. Remember, that's where we're gonna be stronger. So sometimes we load the bar up with more weight than maybe we're comfortable handling, and we really just kind of focus on the top half of the portion uh, of, of the rep. By adding resistance to the bottom of the movement, we're able to use that same weight or more weights and use it within our full range. So as we get closer to our chest, typically the bar would get heavier. But by having a band pulling us from the top, we're actually gonna have lighter weight here. And as we get closer to the top of the movement, the band is gonna taper off um, and we're gonna be working with more of the real weight. Once again, our, our, our concept or our, um, our application is trying to make this movement match our body's natural strength curve. Just gonna demonstrate a few reps for you guys. I know you all know how to do a typical incline press. Um, so we're not going to detail on the execution of that movement. Really just wanna drive home how and why to use the bands. Uh, but just for demonstration purposes, we'll just go over a few reps. So typical setup, feet driving into the floor, abs locked down, core engaged here. Like I said, we're really just trying to use a weight that's gonna be heavy here. And as it gets closer to our chest, those bands are adding resistance, making the weight lighter. So we're able to work 
within the full range of motion. That's it guys, we're gonna move on to the next one. Um, but add this in, um, typically, say at the, the, the beginning of, of a workout is something you wanna be able to produce maximum effort and output. All right guys, next move we're gonna go over is the dumbbell press. Um, now just like over there with the incline press that I did, this movement does not have to be done using a flat bench. Um, you can do an incline dumbbell press, you can do a decline dumbbell press. I just have to use a flat bench because I showed you guys an incline press uh, first. Here we're gonna do um, the band behind our back. So as we discussed at the beginning of the video, what we're trying to do is make the band add tension to the movement when we're here at the top. So the setup for this is gonna be real simple. Simply take a band, cross it in your hands here. I like to have a, a, a cross band. I just feel it helps to keep the band from slipping, um, but you can test with it and find out what works best for you. From here, you're gonna wanna cross it at the top of your back. Uh, mid, mid trap um, and then keep the band here dropping right underneath the deltoid taking your bands just like your I'm sorry taking your dumbbells just like you would with a typical press here get set in position feet locked down okay and like I said our goal is to make that movement match our strength profile so here as it gets down at the bottom the dumbbells are really, really heavy. The band is not adding that much force. As we get closer to the top though, those dumbbells are dropping off and the band is actually adding the tension. Now you probably want to start with uh, dumbbells that are lighter than what you're typically working with. Um, but same concept, apply this uh, types of movements at the beginning of your workout. That's it for the dumbbell guys. We're gonna finish up with one more movement today. All right guys, third movement we're gonna go over today is a banded machine press. Um, now what I have set up is a hammer strength um, press. If your gym doesn't have a hammer strength uh, equipment, you can use any type of machine. But once again, our goal or what we're trying to accomplish is making that movement match our body's uh, natural strength curve. So we're trying to get harder up here and easier down here. So you can see as the way I have set the band up, as this gets pressed up, the band is gonna add more tension to the movements. Um, so that's what we're trying to accomplish. So play with different types of machines with whatever your, whatever your gym offers. Um, but most gyms nowadays have some type of hammer strength equipment. I think it's the easiest to set it up just because it gives you these options to add the resistance bands to. Um, same concept though, we're just gonna you know, just go through the movement as we normally would. So getting set here, and then as we press up, that band is adding resistance to the movement. So that's it guys. Uh, machines are really easy to set this up with. Not a lot of things that you can do wrong. Um, but try different types of resistance bands, um, different, different strengths um, to see what works best for you. There you have it guys. Three moves to build a bigger chest using resistance bands. Now, as far as the application, I do recommend picking one of the three and using those um, within a given workout. Don't try to do all three within one. That's gonna be too much overload, too much work on the chest. But pick, uh, pick one um, and rotate them in and out throughout your workouts. Always trying to use these at the beginning of the workouts. Now, as far as bands, I do recommend purchasing multiple strengths, multiple resistances. Um, I have a band set of about 12. Um, I got these on EliteFTS.com. Um, it's not a plug. Um, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by them, but it's just what I feel has been the best option for me. But you can search on Amazon. You can search on any of the sites out there that sell gym equipment or accessories. Uh, but like I said, I recommend getting multiple resistances and always try to get them within pairs um, because like we showed you, using the machine or using the incline press, um, a lot of times it benefits to have two that are matching so you can apply them to both sides. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, make sure if you haven't yet to subscribe to the channel as we're releasing new videos every single week. Um, and we just came out with a brand new free report. Uh, five tips to help you accelerate your muscle growth and shatter any plateau. So if you're somebody that's struggling with getting past where you're currently at, isn't making progress or isn't making gains, make sure to click on the link within the description box 
um, and get that report for free. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll talk to you soon.